Bond granted for the 20-year-old accused of killing one teenager and attempting to kill two others in Mobile. Brandon Ely, who you see here, was arrested Tuesday for the February 15th crime. As WKRG News 5's Megan Mackey reports, prosecutors asked the judge not to grant bond, a request the judge rejected. Yeah, Brandon was arrested more than two months after this alleged incident. He's being charged with murder and two counts of attempted murder, but his defense attorney argues he had nothing to do with this. It took him this long to arrest somebody, so I don't know how sure they are of anything at this point. Brandon Ely had his first virtual court appearance where he was granted a $475,000 bond for the charges he's facing, including murder, two counts of attempted murder, and shooting into an occupied vehicle. The state asked for no bond, but when the judge rejected that, they requested the highest bond be given, which would have been $1.5 million on the murder charge. I respect Judge Moore. I respect his opinion. Obviously, I think that bonds are designed to make sure people show up for court and I think that was a little high to ensure that. The $475,000 bond less than half the maximum amount the judge could have ordered. The incident in question stems from February 15th when police say Brandon shot and killed 19 year old Keith Fredericks near an apartment complex on Cottage Hill Road. Two others were injured and the state says more than 30 rounds were fired in what is described as an ambush. My client is innocent. He maintains his innocence. Uh, this the state's responsibility to prove him guilty and we'll see whether they can do that or not. Now his arraignment has been set for next Tuesday, May 3rd. Reporting in Mobile, Megan Mackey, WKRG News 5.